So what's up guys on YouTube, the Weza guy is back after a long time and today I'm gonna teach you all on how to root your Motorola Weza XT910 and your Motorola Weza XT912 running any official jelly bean. So let's get started. Okay so guys before we begin let me just brief you about the method on how to root the razor. Now remember this method will root any razor running any official jelly bean no matter where you live in the world it will work on your phone. Now for the droid razor users that is the CDMA razor users the XT912 users all you guys have to do is download the droid razor utility given in the description and root your phone using the option 3 in the utility. It's that simple for you guys and again a huge thanks to Madgrove for providing his utility for you guys and in case you guys mess with your phone you guys can also always bring back your device to life by using that utility. So Droid Razor users you just have to use the utility and then you are done. Now for the XT910 users you guys would have to follow me. So before we begin let me just tell you how does this root method work on your phone. This root method is basically designed for Linux OS. So in order to run that on our, on our operating system other than Linux, you guys will have to download the virtual machine box of the Linux on your system. Either you are Mac or Windows user, you can do it on a, either one and then you can just simply root your device by following the video. Okay guys, so before we begin, let me tell you all the pre-requirements. The first thing which you guys need to make sure is that you have a good battery life. I would recommend you guys charging till 80% or so. The second thing which you guys need to make sure is that you download each and every file given in the description as each and every file is an important and essential part of this root method. The last and the most important thing which you guys need to make sure is that you have a working Wi-Fi connection and your PC or laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi to which your phone is connected. Otherwise, this method won't work for your phone. So after making sure that your pre-requirements is complete, then start following the video. Okay guys, so now after completing the pre-requirements, the first step which you guys need to do is install the Motorola drivers on your system if you guys haven't done that. Now after installing the Motorola drivers on your system, the second step which you guys need to do is download the virtual machine box from the link given in the description. Depending upon your operating system, choose the appropriate file and download the appropriate virtual machine box on your system. Now after downloading the virtual machine box on your system, the next step is to install the virtual machine box on your system and when it asks you about various permissions, just grant each and every permission as e granting each and every permission is very important to the virtual machine box. So now after ensuring that you guys have downloaded and installed the appropriate virtual machine box on your system and allowed each and every permission to the virtual machine box the next step is to simply open the virtual machine box on your system and now the second step which you guys need to make sure is that you guys download the root underscore jb dot ova file that is the linux root file on your system and after downloading that just simply import that file in your virtual machine box Just choose the path where you put in the uh, root file and then just simply import it on your system. Okay guys, so now after completing the steps which I just showed you, the next thing which you need to do is connect your device via USB to the PC and before doing that, just simply go into developer actions and from there choose USB debugging on your phone. Just make sure that you have a tick against USB debugging and once you have done that then connect your device via USB to the PC in mass transform phone mode that is the MTP mode. Remember you need to connect in MTP mode only. And before connecting I would like to show you guys that I am currently not rooted on my phone. So along with you guys, this will be my first time routing of the XT910 running official Jelly Bean. So here you can see that there is a permission denied for super user and this shows that I am not routed. Just like you guys right now. 
Okay guys, so now after connecting your device to the PC and ensuring that you guys have connected your device in MTP mode and USB debugging is checked on on your device. The next thing which you guys need to do is go into the settings over here and then go to the USB port option and from there just click on this add filter from device option and choose the Motorola XT910 uh, model and then just click on OK and after doing that just start the virtual machine box. So now after you come on this screen, now just go back to your phone. So now after attaining the same screen as I did on my system, now just go back to your phone and make sure that your phone is still connected to your PC or laptop. Do not unplug it and then just simply go into the stock file manager of your phone and from there choose remote storage option. Then click on add storage and fill in the details as you see on your uh, system screen. Remember your details would be different compared to mine. Your host IP address would be different compared to mine. Rest should be the same. So my host IP address won't work for your device. So please put in your own host IP address. So after filling all the details, just simply click on connect. Okay guys, so now after creating this remote storage, just simply tap on this remote storage and make sure you guys have the same files as I have on my phone. And then when you have confirmed that you have the same files, then return to your system screen. Okay guys, so now after following the steps which I just showed you, and then returning to your system screen while your device is still connected to your laptop or PC just simply go back to the virtual machine and then press the enter key to continue now first it will verify your phone and it says that my phone is confirmed so after it says that your phone is confirmed now just simply press any key to continue and then it will start rooting your device and just simply wait for the exploit to complete its work on its own So here it says that you need to press any hard key to continue and your device will start vibrating. So now once you have done that then press the enter key. So now it says press enter to reboot and exit. So just press enter key to continue and then it will start rebooting your device again. Okay, so now after your device has rebooted, I think that now my phone is rooted. I'll just go and confirm whether it's rooted or not. Okay guys, so after your device finally reboots from the exploit, when the exploit gets completed, you guys can just disconnect your device and confirm whether your phone is rooted or not. So I'll just confirm in front of you guys whether my phone is rooted or not. So I'll type SU and check whether it is rooted. So yeah, here we go. You can see that now my phone is rooted and I can grant the super user permissions to my phone. So thanks guys for watching this video. I hope this video helps you all and it helps all the people who really needed root for the Motorola Razr XC910 Jelly Bean. And as I told earlier, just stay updated with me because I'll be doing some great XC910 videos. So Till then, see you all and remember
that I am always open for your help.